Let's do our warm ups and some work for our lower back area. So shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, spread your toes, and reach your head toward the ceiling. I will warn you that they've been digging in the road out there this morning. So if you hear noise, that's what it is. Anyway, back into yoga. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, shoulders back and down, core activated, getting those ribs in and up and lengthening through the spine. Keep that low back supported. Spread your toes, reach the head toward the ceiling. And then inhale, arms at shoulder level, stretching things out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them down and lift your heart. Feel that expansion across the chest. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. Let that low back begin getting a little stretch. Move your chin around. Get the back of your neck working. Hands toward your head for your shoulders. And lift your sitting bones for the back of your legs. And then bend your knees slightly. Keep your chin slightly in as you work your way back up. Using my fascicles. And lift your heart. So again, upper body back bend when you come into your back bends, lifting your heart. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment to feel all that stimulation through your spine, through your energy. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you, one finger position out of the Lift your heart as you stretch your head back, upper body back bend, and then pivot over. And again, deepen as much as you want. I mean, as much into that position as you can. Head toward your legs, hands toward your head. And again, when you're ready to come up, slightly bend those knees as you work from the bottom of the spine, winding all the way up. And again, drop those shoulders as you get into your back bend, lifting your heart. Keep the chin slightly down so you can stretch the back of your neck. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling all that stimulation, getting ready for our side stretches. So let's bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, and clasp. Bring your arms back next to your ears, sitting bones down, stretch the spine apart, and lean to the side without a twist. So remember, don't lean forward or back, and just straight to the side, getting those ribs stretching on that side you're leaning away from. Foot goes down, hands away. And then inhale to the center, keep the shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front, spread your toes, the length of the spine, and lean to the other side. And again, make sure that shoulder stays even with the other one as you push the foot away and the hands out. And then inhale upright and release. Feel the sides a little bit more open. And then we'll stretch the spine apart for our twists So really get those bones moving away. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands up and elbows clasped. Again, arms by your ears, sitting bones down, and finally and turn to the twist. Take a breath, exhale open. As you come into your position, spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, Keep your arms next to your ears and keep the weight on both feet as even as you can. Feel your body and on an inhalation, work your way up in the twist. Lift your heart at the top and drop the shoulders and shoulder blades. And remember, only the upper body gets into that back bend, not your lower back. Take a moment there, lifting your heart. Stretching the elbows away. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Again, 
for its next two years is to stretch the spine and stretch the other side. Breath in and come on over the body. And again, deepen as far as you'd like, keeping the weight on both feet. And don't forget to breathe. And then staying in your twist, inhale your way up and into the upper body back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest top. Remember, stretch the spine all the time. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Arms stretching out into your extended mountain, shoulders down. Take a moment there, spreading your toes, getting those really centered into your feet evenly. And then that swan dive, arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, lengthen as you get halfway down, stretch it out, and then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Take a moment, lifting your sitting bones, let the back of your legs start stretching a little bit. And don't forget to breathe. You can pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, get that back of your body a little more stretch. And then with the arms at the front, work your way slowly all the way to the top. I mean, back in the mountain pose, just take a moment, feel your body a little more stimulated, especially through the spine. We worked it six ways. So let's do a little more stretch on the side. So bring both, let's bring both hands up. I come up on one side, coming up on the opposite toe, lifting that heel. So the side is stretched, the foot stays flat. Lengthen through that side. Feel the difference through the hips, through the side. Exhale that one down, the other one up. And again, just keep lengthening, rising through that arm. But remember, keep the shoulder, shoulder blade down, even while you're stretching the hand. Okay? And then both feet down, both arms up, really lengthening. And then keep the arms parallel right next to your ears and bring your hands back, looking up, lifting your heart, hips over your ankles. So a little upper body back then. And exhale, straight up, and then pivot forward. And stretch it out. As you lengthen, just exhale and drop into red dog, lifting your sitting bones. Pulling deeper with your hands behind your leg, get a really good stretch through the back, and then arms to the front, and wind your way up. As you get to the top, let's turn the feet slightly out. Turning your whole leg so that your knee still goes in the same direction as those toes. And bend your knees slightly, but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, position no support, so no pressure in your hands. And we're gonna do a twist, so stretch your spine apart. Exhale, turn to the side, hips, ribs, and shoulder, lowering the shoulder down toward the opposite knee. So coming into your twist, the whole body turning. Stretch out through the clap. Push back through the sitting bones. Exhale back to the center. Straighten things out. Stretch it apart. And turn to the opposite side, lowering that shoulder down toward the knee. Hip comes slightly up. Your full hips, ribs, shoulders, everything turns to the side. And again, exhale and turn back to the center. Tuck in your chin and feel that full back of your body round. And then slowly work your way back up. And as you get to the top, feet to the center, back into the mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling your body a little bit more energized. Let's go to the wall briefly. So that a couple of feet from the wall, put your hands right in front of your shoulders, and then lift them to above the fingertips. So one length of your palm up. So the hands are slightly above your head. And then take a good step back. And then push your hips right over your ankles as you drop your ribs and your chest. 
but keep your head up toward your hands. So your whole body is in the back bend, and you're pushing back through the hips, pushing them over the ankles. Take a moment for you then. Sink as deeply into that with your heart and your ribs as feels right. Push the sitting bones maybe even further back. Reach the head up toward your hands. Keep lengthening through the spine. Shoulder blades toward your waist. And then bend your knees slightly. Take a step gently in. Add up and release your arms. Coming back into mountain pose at your neck. Take a moment there. Feel your body. And let's do our balance practice. So spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, core activated, supporting that lower back. And when you're ready, bring your other foot up. So really spreading across the base of the toes and making sure that whole foot is supporting you as you bring the leg up as far as it wants to go. And then circle your ankle, both directions, flex and point. And release. Shift to the other side and do anything you need to improve it as you get ready to balance on the other side. So toes straight ahead, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core supporting your lower back. So sitting by the shoulder blades go down, ground to the ceiling when you're ready and lift that over. And again, as high as it wants to go today, just bring it towards your heart or just barely off the floor, and then work your ankle. Breathe into it. Feel what's going on. And again, straighten it out before you return to the mat. Take a moment as you get back down. Breathing. Exhale. Any stress or tension. And then bring your hands to your heart. Look at them. And bring your hands to the ceiling. Come into your back bend and swan dive forward. Separate your hands out to shoulder level and then drop your back. Slide your hands up under your knees, lengthening. Exhale down and come into child's pose. So as you sink back, hips toward your heels, bring your hands, palms up at your sides, and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment there, breathe. Just relax. Stretch that spine through the whole back of your body. And then inhale and sit up. And let's warm up the hips a little bit. So coming into staff position. So sitting rounds behind you slightly, or get that block or blanket behind you to give you a little lift through the sitting bones, and push out through your heels, knees, toes straight up. Bring one foot to the opposite thigh, as high as it wants to go, and let the knee come down, letting this outside of the hip have a little release. So breathing, relaxing. Adding weight, but not pressure from your hands if you'd like to, just letting that hip is stretch. If this leg in front needs to come over for a little extra opening through the hip, feel free to do that. Keep the toes and the knee up. And again, just breathe into it, relaxing as you get into your position, allowing the weight of your hands to give a little extra momentum to that hip if it wants a little assistance or not your choice. Remember, personal practice only what's right for your body today. And then put the knee into your hands or pull your arms around and pull that leg in and rotate side to side for a little bit more warmth through that hip joint. Leaving it there or making it more intense with the leg higher or closer, your choice. Keep the shoulders over your hips, keep that core active and supporting you, and don't forget to keep breathing. And when you're ready to release, take a notice 
of what's going on on each side, making sure that you're aware of what your body is doing. And we'll bring the other foot up so that you can do a little balancing on the other side. Again, hands only adding weight, not pressure if you want. Making sure those sitting bones are slightly behind you. Reaching those toes and knee up toward the ceiling, whether it's straight out or over toward the side. Your choice. And again, just breathing, relaxing, letting the knee come down at its own pace on this side. Notice one side is probably different from the other. That's okay. We're habitual creatures and we use our bodies one way more than the other. It does usually make a difference. So one side usually is tighter than the other. So just keep relaxing, letting it release, allowing that to happen, not forcing it. And when you're ready to do your rotation, the and here and ankle in your hands or wrapping your arms around for that side to side movement. Again, just getting the hip warmer, a little bit more lubricated as you're working on it today. Exhale, any tension, stretch the spine, and of course, breathe deep. And when you're ready to release again, just bringing the leg back into scalp position and noticing how that's working in your body today. Bring the bottoms of the feet together into butterfly, knees out toward the sides, coming down toward the floor ish. But clasp your hands around your toes, pull the heels, and maybe a little closer if that works for you today. Knees coming out and down, just letting that inner thigh stretch a little bit more. And then hands behind your shoulders, just gently pressing into the fingers or the palms and lifting your heart. As you do that, maybe the knees will come down a little bit more. If that works, you know, kind of rotate the bottoms of your feet toward the ceiling for some sort of alignment assistance as you're doing that. And don't forget, of course, to breathe. And to release, hands come back to the center. Lift your knees and bring your legs back into step. Take a moment there. Exhale in tension. Let's bring the feet to the end of the mat. Coming into staff position again. With that core activated, supporting in that low down. Shoulders above your hips. And then let's slowly go there. So bring your lower back to the floor. And then your lower ribs and your shoulder blades and your shoulders. And finally, your head. And take a moment and climb integration. Just go ahead and breathe. Exhale all that stress and tension. Toes up toward the ceiling, knees as well. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, back gently down. And then bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Press your back down a little bit more. And bring your knees up toward your heart. Pull the knees in. Get a good hug, stretch that lower back, lengthen through the back of your body, shoulders down toward the floor. And then keep holding on to the right leg, slide the left leg all the way back up and down to the floor. Take a moment there, pulling in the right knee toward your heart. Exhale any tension, just let it stretch a little bit more. And then as you exhale, bring that leg over toward the side, so opening it out toward the right side. And just only a little ways, not far, just bring that hip up. Keep your hand on the opposite hip, making sure that other hip stays down. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then bring the knee back up. And again, draw up both hands in toward your head. Get a good stretch showing through the back of your body. And feel that contraction at the top of the head. And then releasing your hands, exhale, slide the leg back next to the upper one. Feel the hips, feel the legs, 
And the touch points. And again, exhaling, sliding the sitting bones out, bending your knees, heels in right next to your sitting bones. That pressing gently down, core activated, knees drawing up towards your chest. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that hug. And hold the left knee in this time. Slide the right leg out and down to the floor. And again, pulling the knee in, just let it get a good contraction through that hip joint at the front as you pull the knee in. Feel the back of your body stretch. Keep this other hip nice and open. Take a breath. And then gently pulling that right hip down, bring the left knee over out toward the side slightly. Take a moment, just breathe in. Exhale. Relax. Only as far as it wants to go, other hip stays down and open. And then knee back to the center. And again, both hands pulling it in. Stretch through the back of the body, through that opposite hip. Exhale. And release that leg. Again, just taking a moment, feeling your body as it becomes fully extended. Sitting bones toward your heels. And again, bend your knees. Heels right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up. Press the back gently down. Bring your right leg up straight. Cross the ankle over the left knee. Right hand on the inside of that thigh and push it gently away at the knee. And just feel that hip get a little more stretch on the front. Sliding out through that sitting bone. Take your left hand behind the thigh and lift the foot if you want a little bit more. Pulling the left leg in while you continue just gently pushing out on the right knee or thigh. Take a breath. Take your four. Exhale. Releasing tension. And to release, bring your foot to the floor. If it was up, release your hands. Lift your leg and straighten it out. Bend your knee and bring the heel down. Put the foot right next to the other one. Sitting bones and heels alone. Knees straight up. And of course, we'll balance and do the other side. So go ahead and slide those sitting bones toward the heels. Back gently down. Left leg lifting, crossing at the ankle. Right at the knee. Left hand on the inside of that inner thigh. Right around the knee area, pushing it over there. Stay there if that's enough stretch for your back. Otherwise, lift the other leg, holding onto the thigh or around the shin if you prefer. Again, just gently pulling in with the right hand while the left hand pushes the thigh and knee away on that left leg, just gently. And again, stretching only as much as your body needs today. Take a breath. Just relax it. Tension it. And again, just releasing and relaxing as you do. To release, foot to the floor, releasing your hands, lift your leg and straighten it out, and bring that foot again down to the mat. Heels in right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. And we'll do a little bridge. So sitting bones sliding out and inhale, bringing those hip joints up straight, evenly toward the ceiling. Lifting through the hips and buttocks, coming up onto your shoulders. Hands and arms just gently pressing down and look up a little higher into your shoulders. Lift those hips and keep those knees hip width apart. Press down into your feet. Hip joints up right there at the top of the thigh. Lift those bones and maximize through that whole lower back there. 
At the moment, I'm going at zero tension. And then release your shoulders, coming onto your shoulder blades, and then onto your ribs, and then your back, all the way down to the floor. Take a moment there and draw your knees up toward your heart, and your head up toward your knees. Give yourself that appreciative hug. Let your body get a little more stretch through the back of your body, and then bring your hands up to T position. And keep your knees forward above your hips. We do a real quick twist to the side. Knees over right at hip level and turn your head the opposite direction. Just gently going into your twist on this side. Knees coming toward the floor as much as they want. How if you need to do that lower back? And turning to your neck area. And of course, keep your shoulders back. Take a moment to breathe, just exhaling any tension. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, straighten it out. And of course, the twist to the other side. So knees above your hips, and then roll straight at the level over to the side with those knees. Turn your head the opposite direction, shoulders down, and Maximize your twist for your body today as much or as little as your body needs. Pat under your knees if you need that low back gentle. And don't turn your head so much if your neck has issues. Take a moment and breathe. Let that middle back twist as much as it needs to. And don't forget to exhale any tension. Maximizing or minimizing for your body today. And when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips again, just rolling onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor, and we're going to slide them out, and we're going into our final relaxation. Take a moment and breathe, shoulders down, chest open, sitting by the slightly toward your heels, Bring your toes toward each other and then relax through the whole lower body. Exhale any tightness or tension. You want a little bit more for your hips today? Bring your feet together, draw your knees out toward the sides, and then into your goddess position for your final relaxation. Arms out to T position, bending the elbows, fingertips up toward the end. And just allow your goddess position relaxation to open through the hips once more, if that's working for you today. Otherwise, just staying in corpse position and allowing your body to release and relax. Whichever position you're in, just let your body grow heavier, sink deeper into that base support wherever you're touching. Exhale the tension. Let everything go. Relaxing, deepening into that inner awareness, finding the tightness, exhaling, letting it release. Allowing your body just to sink into the earth support completely. And as your body relaxes, whatever position you're in, just allow it to release completely into that earth embrace. As your body relaxes, just allow your mind to relax as well, releasing the thoughts of your body or any other thoughts coming to you. No need to dwell on the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as you Deepening into that inner awareness, completely relaxing, breathing, finding the peace within, being the peace.
and explicit that relaxation feels free to me the day. Just keep relaxing. Letting things open even more. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing those knees toward each other if you're in goddess position. Sliding the legs back gently. Find energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the moment, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, stretching gently, you will ever feel good to move time. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, or your sitting bones toward your heels and your heels toward your hips. Knees up toward your heart, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, adding feet to the floor and rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.